Hello YouTube, welcome to channel Seal Car 212. There's a lot to like about the 2018 Hyundai Tucson. First and foremost is value. You get a ton of features for the money in the Tucson. A power driver seat, heated front seats, and a 7-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also standard on all but the base trim, for instance. The Tucson's top trim level, the Limited, includes features such as a panoramic sunroof, leather upholstery, ventilated seats, LED headlights and a navigation system, all for a price that's thousands less than what you'll pay for some comparably equipped rival crossovers. Another top attribute for the Tucson is its cabin space. Though it doesn't have as much cargo room as a Honda CRV or other more family-focused SUVs, it does have a comparable amount of backseat space for adults. Indeed, the Tucson is a pretty good choice for single folks or young couples looking for a little SUV that doesn't scream parody. It could also be a good choice for those on the opposite end of child raising years. On the downside, the 2018 Tucson comes up a little short in the going the extra mile department. It's a bit bland to drive, especially with the base engine, and the interior design isn't as luxurious as that of some rivals. Overall, though, we think the Tucson is a smart pick for a small crossover SUV. What's new? For 2018, last year's SE popular equipment package has become a full-fledged trim level dubbed cell. It also adds the 7-inch touchscreen interface standard along with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The SE Plus trim, introduced midway through last model year, is renamed the Cell Plus. In another mid-year change that's fully adopted for 2018, the sport trim has been replaced by the value trim. It gains a panoramic sunroof, dual-zone climate control and rear parking sensors. The Eco and Night trims have been discontinued. Trim Levels and Features The 2018 Hyundai Tucson is a five-passenger compact crossover SUV. It is available in SE, Cell, Cell Plus, Value and Limited trim levels. The SE, Cell and Cell Plus come standard with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine, 164 horsepower, 151 pounds-feet of torque, and a six-speed automatic transmission. The Value and Limited have a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder, 175 horsepower, 195 pounds-to-foot, and a seven-speed, dual-clutch automatic transmission. Front wheel drive is standard on all trims, and all wheel drive is optional. Comfort The Tucson has no notable missteps when it comes to overall comfort. Typical touch points for elbows and knees are padded, and the quantity and range of adjustments for front seats ensure that both tall. Interior Overall, the Tucson's interior is pleasant and spacious. The controls are simple, and it has slightly more passenger room than many of its competitors. Its rear visibility is compromised, though, and interior quality is unremarkable, especially on lower trims. Utility The Tucson puts an emphasis on passenger space rather than cargo space. For many, that'll be fine. Max cargo capacity of 61.9 cubic feet is at least 10 fewer cubes than class leaders offer. Its 31 cubic feet with the back seat raised should be sufficient. Small item storage is above average. Technology Every Tucson comes with a user-friendly touchscreen, the size and number of functions go up with each trim level. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and Satellite Radio are included on all but the base SE. Safety tech is mostly restricted to the top trim level, 